so I uh, I just got done mowing. Um, this is my Poland push mower. Had this mower for a lot of years. Really, really love it. I uh, I maintain a small lot with it. Um, it's only about 305 acres, um, but I do it all with a push mower. It's been having some problems lately. Um, the the main problem it just it doesn't feel like it has enough power. About the time I'm getting done push walking the 280th acre, um, it it just starts to it it feels like it just kind of loses performance a little bit. Which just you know I'm I'm all about performance. You know if there's anything I can do to prolong the life of a a, a push mower, you know so so be it. You know I'll I'll make the investment no doubt. So I was in the garage and kind of working and crunching some numbers and uh, I think I came up with a formula that should help really boost the horsepower, help out on the low end torque, and if anything maybe maybe up the RPMs by at least at least up by 4,000. If I could get 4,000 more RPMs out of this thing that would really be something. Um, but it's a it's a formula that I've come up with myself. Um, I haven't patented it yet so I'm gonna put this online and um, you know, feel free to, you know, use it. I'm not going to patent it. I think it's really something that the the world needs. So I'm going to show you how I make it. Or I'm, I'm at least going to show you how to, the, the four ingredients you need. I, I won't really get into the ratios. You can kind of play with that. Um, you know, check with your manufacturer and see, see what they recommend. Um, but I'm going to show you the four things I'm going to be using, put them in, and we're going to do a, a test run with it just to see how much more performance we can get. All right, so first up, uh, we have Prestone here. Um, this actually works to, uh, you can see I got the 50-50. The um, this kind of works to help keep the motor a little bit cooler. Um, push motors usually tend to run pretty hot. Uh, moving on down the line, uh, I like to use a little bit of lacquer thinner. Uh, the, uh, the reasoning behind this is that uh, uh, from the factory, the motors tend to come with uh, uh, paint overspray inside the motors. Um, and that that just takes up room that more more high performance oil uh, could be in there to really help the motor out. So I like to put a little bit of this in there just to get any of that overspray out. Uh, moving on down, I like to use a little bit of grass seed. Um, as much as these things, you know, take away grass, um, it's important to uh, to uh, to put to put grass to put the grass back that you've taken, um, just sort of as an environmental precaution. So I like to put a little bit of grass seed in. And just because these other three smell so terrible, um, I like to use a little bit of Tidy Cats. And uh, that's that's not for performance. That's that's just for smell, just the aesthetic of it, you know. So I like to put a little bit of this in there. It just kind of freshens up things. So uh, I like to mix all four of these together, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if you've done the mixture correct, uh, it should look something like this. It should be sort of a dark, uh, murky color down at the bottom. And then the uh, Tidy Cats should be uh, more up towards the surface. Um, even when you start around, it should that tidy cat should just stay right up there at the top. Um, if you're, if, if it's not, if it doesn't look like this, um, you've you've definitely done something insanely wrong, and uh, I don't recommend putting it in your mower. You definitely want that tidy cat's uh, to be floating there at the top. All right, let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so I've got my uh, my funnel here, so. Uh, just gonna put this right down the right down the chute. I've still got some in there, still some on the funnel, and uh, you definitely don't want to waste any of this stuff. It's not it's not the cheapest uh, stuff to make, so uh, I like to just take a little bit of uh, orange soda and just kind of you know get all that get all that. Uh, tidy cat, definitely. Don't waste any. Don't waste any of the tidy cat, and uh, just kind of clean out my funnel and everything, so it's good for next time. There we go. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, I need to prime it first. Come on. 
Okay, I, uh, I figured out the problem. I, uh, I went just a touch, um, not, an, I, I didn't quite use enough orange soda, so got a little more orange soda in there, and, uh, let's see what we can get her to do this time. There we go. Oh, I can already tell that's better. That's just way better. So I went ahead and took the uh, oil fill cap off there, and uh, that's letting a lot of that extra heat off too, so uh, another big improvement there. I mean, you can just see that, you know, exhaust-wise, she's doing a lot better, so more horsepower for me. Alright, something's going wrong. I, uh, I don't think I used enough tidy cats. Something's... Something's not right. It shouldn't be doing this. You can see it's smoking pretty bad out of the uh, the oil intake there. And uh, gosh darn it, I, I don't think I used enough tidy cats. All right, so I had to do a little more uh, research, and uh, turns out what was holding us up was this uh, this air breather assembly. Um, those foam filters really rob you of at least 62 horsepower. I've also added a uh, zip tie down here to hold my throttle open. That was the other problem. Uh, this thing would just start idling when I didn't want it to. But I'm uh, I'm tired of losing sleep over this. Um, I really want this little lawnmower to do a lot better. Um, I also, while I was in town, uh, I picked up some, if the camera will focus, uh, some plus 50 horsepower shots. Um, I went ahead and did the right thing too. Um, in case that one's not enough, I've got 10 more and I will be administering those with my SKS. Um, I think you can pretty much just uh, apply them anywhere to the uh, general motor area and uh, they should go right to work. So uh, I'm gonna get the tripod set up and we're gonna give this one last go. Alright, so I think I've done just about all I can do for this little lawnmower engine. Uh, those horsepower shots added some nice ventilation holes. Uh, you can see a couple of them here along the gas tank, uh, which should really help with the uh, fuel flow. And uh, in fact, we even got one of them. You know, I was applying them on this side, but I even got a, uh, even one of them right there came out. So, uh, really happy with that. So, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, I want to thank this little lawnmower for uh, basically giving me the opportunity to work on it and then finding out that the rings inside of it leaked oil and it would lock up and then when it would start it would uh, like to snap the uh, pull string out of your finger hurting your hand so thank you little mower I'm so glad I worked on you and added all that extra horsepower and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next video well you'll see me but not this mower <laughs>